Kushkoi is a very remote part of Turkey. In fact, uh, the terrain is a little difficult. It's a mountainous area. And as a result, it's a little difficult for people to communicate with one another. So about 500 years ago, they created something that they refer to as the bird language, where they literally whistle because it's a louder way of communicating. And they can understand each other. Um, and that's the way that they basically communicate. And it's something that they're very proud about. It's part of their identity. But unfortunately, now all of a sudden, there's this development of smartphones. Younger uh, generations are using the smartphones. And yeah, you pick up the cell phone, you communicate regularly instead of whistling at each other. <laughs> <laughs> Whistling language is like our mother tongue. We need it because of the mountainous geography. It came from our ancestors from an unknown time and we will pass it on to our children. It will not die. Bird language, or Kushdili, is a whistle dialect that can be heard more than 100 meters away. Kushkoi's top whistlers combine tongue, teeth, and fingers for that extra trill. Tongue. Teeth. <laughs> what else? <laughs> I don't know, Fingers. but I, I like that thing they do with their tongue. <laughs> so that's amazing. It's that Turkey's not the only place they, that they do this in Greece, Spain, Mexico, mm -hmm. wherever the terrain makes sense, where it's a pain in the ass to go all the way down the mountain, all the way up the mountain to go talk to somebody. So they develop a language where they can, instead of screaming, where it's not going to do the job, they do the whistle, which goes further. Mm -hmm. It's amazing that that's a language. And what's funny is that. As they're whistling, they're whistling in Turkish. I know, it, it is crazy. And, and as I said, it was developed 500 years ago, so it's been around for centuries. But the one thing that I find amusing is, you know, there are certain traditions that become antiquated because of new technology. And in this case, of course, their language is starting to phase out because people are using smartphones to communicate. And they're really, really upset about this. So but, there's actually, mm -hmm. you know, thousands of different languages throughout the world, especially in some of the islands, that there's different dialects and that are so strong that they're distinct languages, and a lot of them are dying out because the world is becoming one global place. These folks in Turkey, I love them, you got no chance. Yeah. Okay, they're trying to teach their kids, and they're proud that they're like the largest collection of whistle language folks. They're like the Mexicans, they don't know how to whistle. Get out of here. The real whistlers are in Turkey, all right? But they're trying to teach the kids, and the kids are like, I don't get it. Why would I whistle all the way over there when I could just call them? No, I'm going to call them. And, and you want me to tweet over there? Because this is kind of a form of literally tweeting, right? Mm -hmm. It's like, I, they've invented this thing called Twitter, where we tweet without having to go, What's it? <laughs> Yeah, I feel bad telling them to let go, but it's time to let go. So apparently they're putting together these like festivals uh, that are themed around the bird language and people will go, but they don't really go because they want to learn the language or because they appreciate the language. They go for the kebabs and things like that. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> they like they go to funny. the dancing stuff more and they're like, "Oh, where is the gyros, etc." They're like, "No, no, no, the whistling contest is about to start." Like, "Yeah, yeah." I'll get to that in a second. <laughs> the patrons of the festival don't watch the whistling contest, which is kind of hilarious. And, and partly the problem is there's like the Michael Jordan of whistling, this one lady that wins like every other year. So they're like, ah, oh, how are we ever going to beat her? Jesus, with the long whistle. Okay. <laughs> now look, the reality is I love these people. I, I think all those different languages are fascinating. I wish we could preserve them all. And in some ways we can, you know, uh, at least historically, etc. But the fact that they're not living languages anymore is a bit of a bummer. But the reality is that no matter how much I would want their language to stay around and how much we like them and, and, and they're endearing, et cetera, they're fighting a losing battle. If it's not their kids, and it'll definitely be their kids, it'll certainly be their grandkids yeah. who are like, what the hell is whistling? I know, bird language is just flying away. Oh, <laughs> wash wang, 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 wang. And finally, I'd like to say to all my Turkish friends,